Okay, afternoon everyone. So as you can see from the thumbnail, we're gonna be doing Piper Cross versus Racing Line intake. So I've got both of them on the cars now, as you'll have seen from the other videos that I've done. So I thought it'd just be a good chance to do a bit of a comparison between the two and see which ones you think is best. So obviously there's hundreds of other different uh, intakes you can pick for your car. These are the ones that I've picked uh, and I'll flick some pictures up as we're going along, but let's just have a quick look at them and then we'll go out for a blast in the cars and you can get an idea of the difference in the sound when driving. And I've had the cars on and I've done a few revs already with them so you can hear the noise difference. And then I'll tell you what I think about the two of them in terms of driving them. I've already been out for a drive in both the cars because although I do drive them, it's the R that I use as a daily car. The GTR generally sits here most of the time. Um, so I've, I do know the noise of both make, but I just wanted to get a very quick comparison in my own head so I can remember when driving um, what they sound like. So as I said, I've done a quick drive in them, so we'll be able to get a good comparison um, and that'll come up after we've just had a quick look at them. So let's do it. Okay, so the cars are pretty much, as you know, exactly the same in terms of the engine. Obviously this is the R and this is the GTI, the RB 306 horsepower, the GTI is meant to be 242. Obviously this one's been remapped, so you need to go and watch the video of it getting remapped. But basically what we've got here is the Piper Cross cold air intake. Now it's open, they're both open on both the cars. This is a fixed pipe and it is ceramic coated so that you can put your hand on it even when it's hot and you won't get a burn. Um, it came all as one piece, this one did with the heat shield. Um, both cars obviously have had their turbo elbows changed. The GTI is slightly different because on the GTI I've also had the turbo muffler delete. I've also replaced the hoses around the turbo with silicon racing line hoses as well. So that's had slightly more done to it than the R, but pretty much the same setup. Piper Cross all came as one and I'll flick a picture up in the corner so you can see it was £345 came via Motec Performance and I went off the basis of what they were saying when I bought this one. So Motec's performance stats state that it is 27% wider than the original part and they state, which I'm skeptical about, but they state 10 to 12 more horsepower or on a tune car 17 more horsepower. So take what you will from that. Okay, so the R is racing line, as you can see, the logo is just on the front of that. So pretty much the same setup, heat shield, silicon hose down to the turbo elbow. This one I did order via Ultimate Customs, and this came as two pieces, whereas that all came as one piece on the GTI. So this didn't come all as one piece, so the filter head and the heat shield were one piece, and then the silicon hose I had to buy separately. Um, this piece here came along with the filter head from Ultimate Customs. Now aesthetically the main difference between the two I would say, which is where my preference lies with the Piper Cross one, because the Piper Cross one for me leaves the engine bay a bit tidier with this panel remaining at the front which allows this tube to go down across it. So the heat shield fits in around that, whereas with this one I had to remove the front panel here and then this pipe, as you'll see from the other video, just sits sort of free in the air, which you just have to get used to. So I did try and clean this all out. When I first took it off, it was very dirty down there, so I've tried to give it a good clean. I suppose it does mean that the air just goes straight through into that intake on the R, whereas on the GTI, this panel remaining in means that these vents are blocked here. So I am considering possibly taking a little hacksaw to the back of that or doing it nicely to remove that. This side, you've obviously got the open side. So really, I, I don't really think I have a preference. I like the way both of them look. I do like the blue silicon hose. They say these rigider pipes potentially don't allow the engine movement. Whereas obviously this is silicon, so this will allow movement in the engine when you're accelerating. So I'm not sure really. I think this one definitely is louder than the one on the R, but I think that is because this is a manual and this obviously is the DSG. On flatter runs, when you've just put your foot down flat, you really don't get any noise feedback from that at all. Whereas with this one, when you're putting your foot down and you're on a flat run, you're still changing the gear, so you still get a really good pullback on that and you still get a good noise. I would say that's the main difference I've seen between having the two of them. Like I said, there is lots and lots of other ones that you can have in your car if you want. Those are just the two ones that I picked. And one of the other reasons for doing this video as well was because somebody had commented that they were gonna go out and get this one 
Um, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison so you know about this one. And this one was in two separate parts, 198 for the filter head and the heat shield. And I believe the silicon hose was 96 pound. And I'll put the pictures up in the corner as well of those. So not a massive amount of difference in the price between the two of them. One's attached to a manual, one's attached to a DSG. Okay, so that's pretty much it. A little look at both of those uh, intake systems there. Um, both open intakes, you can get closed ones obviously as well. I went for open because I like the drama of the noise um, when you're driving about. So I've already done the revving bit earlier on in the day when it was a bit quieter and less people were in. So we'll start with the GTI. So here's some revving from the GTI. <laughs> And here's some revving from the R. I went out in the GTI first, so let's just blast the GTI footage first and then you can get a sound of that. so I hope you like that and let's go and do a blast in the R. There you go. Um, it's your decision, really. I like both of them. I definitely think this one is louder. Um, this one has got its own aggressive noise. Certainly when the car is in race, it makes a lot more of an aggressive noise. This one just makes a noise all the time um, because I don't think this, the, the modes on this GTI affect the sound of this at all or the sound of the exhaust. So this car is definitely noisier in general and that's why I use this one as a daily because I can make this car quieter. But entirely up to you, pipe across, racing line, both a similar price, both doing the same job, both making the engines breathe more easily. There was one video that I looked at on YouTube which said that these are the biggest waste of monies that you can spend on a car. I'm not gonna say where that video was, but there was a video out there. I think that's absolute nonsense. Yeah, it might not give you horsepower, and I'm not sure about the figures that they talked about getting horsepower from this intake system, but 
If it makes your car breathe easier, surely it's good for your car. Yeah, they are expensive, but it's worth doing if it helps your car breathe easier. So saying it's a waste of money, I think that's a bit excessive. So I will go out next week and I'll definitely do the drag racing with the cars so that you can get a good idea of what we're doing 0 to 60s in both of these bad boys. So thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da. Okay, so there you go, that's pretty much it. Little look look. <laughs> a little look look. <laughs>